Prosopopoia, or Mother Hubbard's Tale, by Edmund Spencer. By that he ended had his ghostly sermon. The fox was well inducted to be parson, and of the priest F. soon's gone to inquire how to a benefice he might aspire. Mary, there, said the priest, is art indeed. Much good deep learning one there out may read, for that the groundwork is an end of all. How to obtain a beneficial. First, therefore, when ye have been handsome wise, yourself attired, as you can devise, then to some nobleman yourself apply, or other great one in the world's eye, that hath a zealous disposition, to God, and so to his religion. There must thou fashion eke a godly zeal, such as no carpers may contrary reveal, for each thing fain dot more wary be. There thou must walk in sober gravity, and seem as saint like a saint radigund. Fast much pray oft, look lowly on the ground, and unto every one do courtesy meek. These looks, not saying, do a benefice seek, but be thou sure one not to lack or long, and if thee list unto the court to throng, and there to hunt after the hoped prey. Then must thou be disposed another way, for there thou needs must learn to laugh, to lie, to face, to forge, to scoff, to company, to crouch, to please, to be a beetle stock, of thy great master's will, to scorn, or mock. So mayst thou chance mock out of benefice, unless thou canst one conjure by device, or cast a figure for a bishopric, and if one could, it were but a school trick, these be the ways by which without reward, Living sin court begotten, though full hard, for nothing there is done without a fee. The courtier needs must recompensed be, with a benevolence, or have engage, the primishes of your parsonage. Scare skin a bishopric for pass them by, but that it must be gelt in privity. Do not thou therefore seek a living there, but if more private persons seek elsewhere, whereas thou mayst compound a better penny, nay let thy learning question be of any. For some good gentleman, that hath the right, unto his church for to present a white, will cope with the unreasonable wise, that if the living yearly do arise, to forty pound, that then his youngest son, shall twenty have, and twenty thou hast one, thou hast it one, for it is a frank gift, and he will care for all the rest to shift, both that the bishop may admit of thee, and that therein thou mayst maintain be. This is the way for one that is unlearned, living to get, and not to be discerned. But they that are great clerks, have nearer ways, for learning sake to living them to raise. Yet many eke of them, God what, are driven, t, except a benefice, in pieces riven. How sayst thou, friend, have I not well discoursed, upon this common place, though plain, not worst, better a short tale than a bad long shriving, needs any more to learn to get a living? Quote, now sure, and by my holidom, quoth he, ye a great master are in your degree. Great thanks I yield you for your discipline, and do not doubt but duly to incline. My wits thereto, as ye shall shortly hear. The priest him wished good speed, and well to fare. So parted they, as either's way them led. But th ape and fox ere long so well them sped. Through the priest's wholesome counsel lately taught, and through their own fair handling wisely wrought, that they a benefice twixt them obtained, and crafty Reynold was a priest ordained, and th ape his parish clerk procured to be, then made they revel rout in goodly glee, but ere long time had passed they so ill, did order their affairs that th evil will, of all their parishioners they had constrained, who to the ordinary of them complained, how foully they their offices abused and them of crimes and heresies accused. That persuivance he often for them sent, but they neglected his command on. So long persisted obstinate and bold, till at the length he published a hold, a visitation, and them cited tether. Then was high time their wits about together. What did they then, but made a composition, with their next neighbor priest, for light condition, to whom their living they resigned quite for a few pence, and ran away by night. 